Alrighty, welcome to something a little different today. I'm going to be playing Supreme Draft. So the way this works is you get two cards out of every pack you see, and you see 18 packs. No one else is involved in the drafting process. It's just basically you open 18 packs in a row, taking the best two cards out of each, and build a deck. It's pretty goofy, it's pretty wild, and pretty busted. And actually, this pack is really terrible. Um, I'm going to take probably like Currency Converter... I could take Gristlebrand because you can reanimate it, but I don't even think that is that great to do. I think I'm going to take Currency Converter and Chart, of course, honestly. And the reason is I think you want to draft low curve uh, decks that are just trying to go pretty busted because everyone ends up with so much power. Well, this pack's also really bad. I think I'll take Prismatic Vista and I could do Lorien Revealed or I could do Spellseeker. It's probably Spellseeker. If I had to guess, all right, I'll take those two. All right, now here we go. There's a Mana Crypt. Oh, and Urza. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, Urza and Mana Crypt is good. And then Time Walk and Black Lotus. Oh, what a pack. Here we go. I told you, you get some busted decks here. So I'm going to end up looking to draft all the zeros and all the ones. So Lotus and Time Walk, nothing of note leaving. You can't open the same card more than once. So, for example, Fast Bond is just going to be gone here if I don't take it. I'm going to take Mana Vault, and I think I'm going to take Teferi. I think that's going to be a better second pick. Fast Bond's not even that good because you end up with so many pieces of power in your deck. And here we've got Urza Saga for sure. And then the question is, do I want Preordain or Sheldock Isle? They're both pretty strong. I think I'll take Sheldock or uh, Preordain just to go a little faster. I do like Urza Saga, though. Brain Freeze is a very good win condition. I don't know that I really want Luris. I might just take Scalding Tarn. You do want a little bit of fixing, especially since you have kind of a lower land count with all the moxes you end up getting. I don't really want Sensei's Top. Though Sensei's Top is nice with Saga. I already have Currency Converter. That kind of does the thing already. So I'm going to take Brain Freeze there. And then now, pretty easy one ring for sure. And probably Sacred Foundry. It makes my Tarn into a white source for Teferi. Oh, the Subtlety is also pretty good. Free spells are just really good in this format. Actually, maybe maybe I just take Subtlety then instead. Subtle, subtlety seems pretty important. Uh, strip Mine is okay, but not amazing by any stretch. Mm, let's see. What do I want to do? I would definitely want to take Gitaxian Probe. And the second card... Yeah, I could take Workshop. Workshop's good with One Ring. I'm not going to draft that many more expensive artifacts. I think I... Oh, I could take P.O. Actually, P.O. Probe sounds way better. I don't care about Strip Mine. I'm not going to play Crucible in my deck. But P.O. with Mana Crypt and Mana Vault already? Yes, that is perfect. And here, I'm not thrilled to, to for this pack, but I could take Chromox. Chromox is fine. And Emery, Emery looks okay here, too. I think I like that more than Fracture Identity. There's an Ancestral, and there's a Lion's Eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are we are getting there. Uh, definitely taking those, too. I have still a lot of packs left. We're doing really well in the power here. This, this, this is fun. Oh, uh, this one's a little less good, but I could take, like, Sahili Trinket Mage. It's two, two kind of expensive cards. I don't really want Blood Crypt too much. I guess if I get Demonic Tutor, I'll wish I had it, but I don't even have a red card yet. Let's just take Trinket Mage Sahili, and I think... Oh, actually... You know what? Instead of Trinket Mage, I think I'm going to take Sahili and Odawara. Having an answer to Hole Breacher is pretty important. Uh, take another fetch here. Broadside Bombardiers is good. Jace as a win condition is pretty nice. Just draw your whole deck and then Jace. And I don't think I care about Bombardiers, so I'll just take Polluted Delta. Five packs left. Any more Moxin? Could use some more Moxin. Uh, Ponder's okay. And then there's Demonic Tutor. I did take Polluted Delta just now, so yeah, I'll take DT and Ponder. That seems like a, a perfectly fine two picks. And, uh-oh, running low on packs and still missing some good stuff. Days can be good. I, I'm going to have a lot of islands in this deck, which is nice. I don't I don't think I want Jace. For, well, Jace Friends Prodigy, that's also a pretty good early play. Maybe instead of Days, I'll take Jace and Under, Underground Sea. Because Underground Sea makes Tarn into black. I don't think taking Misty is going to be great here. Yeah, let, let's do that. And then here, Echo of Eons looks pretty nice with uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. And then Displacer Kitten with Teferi, Urza, 
and all the zeros. Yeah, so let's take Echo Vions and Displacer Kitten. I don't really want Retrofitter. That's not kind of what these games are about. Oh, there's my Moxon. Double Mox. Chef's Kiss. One more pack. Any more Moxon? No, but... And no Underworld Breach either, but uh, that's okay. Okay, so... Last pick here. Do I want Remand, Badlands, Reprieve, Lightning Bolt, Thought Scour, Arid Mesa? I think rather than Arid Mesa, I would take Hallowed Fountain to help cast Teferi off of all these fetches. I don't really think I need Bolt. I'll take Remand and Hallowed Fountain, I think. I don't think I need... Yeah, I don't need more spells. All right. So then that's it. I mean, it's a very fast draft. Now I get to add some lands. And if I added four lands here, I would end up with a... 11 land deck with six zeros, which isn't too far off. Mm -hmm. All right, deck building in this format, also pretty sleek. <laughs> I took out an Emery, I added three islands, a plains, and a swamp, and we're done. I mean, that, that really is it. 12 lands plus six zeros. I guess lines, that doesn't really count, but five zeros that produce mana. That's 17, and I got a bunch of cantrips. I think we're ready to roll. Emery is just a little too slow. I think I'm going to try without it, and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, time for round one. Unfortunately, I've made a grievous error. I've lost the die roll, which that can be tough in this format, as you can see. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep this hand if uh, if I get to take a turn, which, I mean, honestly, people don't really kill you on turn one that often. They do have a bunch of plays, though. Uh, I'll get to go Mox, Probe You, Land Mox, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Time Walk, and then who knows what I'm going to do on turn two. Land Mox, okay. Let's go ahead and probe here, paying the life, see what we're up against. Grief, Wheel of Fortune, Flooded Strand. Oh, you didn't want to, oh wait, hoping to draw a black card to Grief on turn two. Okay, well, let's play Prismatic Vista, let's play the Mox. Oh, I guess I actually don't even need to play, could have not played the Mox Pearl, because we don't want to cast Mana Vault anyway. And then cast Time Walk, which gets me an extra land drop, which could be useful next turn. All right. I won the flip. Hooray. All right. Chrome Mox. That's interesting. I could play... No, I don't have the triple blue for Jace. Um, do I want to chart a course or ponder first? <laughs> kind of feel like just charting a course is better. Oh, intriguing. Um, I guess I could discard Jace here. That's probably fine because I'm going to go Chrome Mox Imprint. I think Ponder or I think Imprint to Fairy Ancestral myself. Remember, I haven't played a land yet this turn. And then play a land and say go, leaving up Remand here. Looks pretty good. I could try to ponder to find uh, Lion's Eye Diamond or Lotus for Echo, but I think this works fine. And uh, yeah, that was my turn one. That was a pretty good one. I cast Walk Ancestral, chart or I guess Charticorus Probe, and then a bunch of mana artifacts. Grief, Pitching, Reanimate. All right, I'm going to remand the Grief. And if my opponent wants to wheel a fortune here, they are more than welcome to do so. <laughs> can tell you who I think that'll advantage more. It's not them. I mean, we'll see. All right, Wheel of Fortune happens. They discarded Grief in two lands. I mean, they kind of had to wheel and hope for something good, but they've already even played a land, and then, oh, this is an easy win on my turn here. Okay. So this will be relatively simple, I would say. And now I'm going to draw. I'm not going to pay for Mana Vault. I'm going to go... Displacer Kitten, uh, Mox, Flicker Mana Vault. I mean, I've, there's a lot of things I can do here. Let's go One Ring. And then now every time I Kitten, uh, I can blink the One Ring and draw a card if I want. Let's draw with the One Ring. There's Brain Freeze. Okay. Um... Let's go Demonic Tutor, Flicker the One Ring, 
DT. I guess I could have drawn first even. And um, let's just get the LED, I guess. It, it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, draw a card with one ring. LED flicker, one ring. Storm count five. Blue cast spell seeker. And I guess I'll flicker. I don't get a flicker or anything yet. Um, use the ability. <laughs> I'll get a pre ordained, sure. <clears throat> Land. And I'm very close to just having a lethal freeze here. Let's flicker mana vault. And once I do that, I'm going to start by just casting that. And then now I can tap mana vault and the Teferi, and I can go. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, I can PO. I can PO back the Chrome Mox and imprint something else. Two, three, four. All right. And then this will even let me displace her kitten. Mana Vault, just to get some extra mana. Why not? All right. Yeah, I could draw my whole deck. I could do whatever. Uh, I don't think I want to side in the Emery, so I guess I'm good to go. All right, game two. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like this hand. This hand does not have as busted of a turn one, but it has turn two one ring or Teferi Time Reveler. Those are both pretty good on two. And then I am playing against someone with grief and whatnot, so I have to keep that in mind. Urza Saga. Okay. Landmarks go. Um, let's just cast Preordain here. And that's probably going to be the end of my turn, but I guess if I draw a Mana Vault or something. All right. Uh, all right. I guess I'm just not going to play around Grief. I could, I could have put the Time Walk down so that they couldn't get a chance to Grief it, but that didn't seem necessary. And then here, I think I'm just going to play the One Ring because Time Walking with the One Ring in play is much stronger. And they can't even attack me with their Saga Tokens. And I think there's a chance next turn they're going to put two Saga Tokens out, which I would be very happy with because I'm probably going to win on my next turn, if I would imagine. Well, next turn, counting Time Walk turn. Like, if they're activating... Okay, they're at least not activating the Saga. That would have been unlikely to, to work out in their favor. Let's see what they've got. I mean, there's, there's some plays they can make that would be definitely difficult. Hole Breacher would be pretty annoying. Whole Breacher into Wheel or something like that would be bad. Time Twister, all right. My hands are still busted because my whole deck is. <laughs> this has been a fun Supreme draft. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way, if you enjoyed this draft because these are fun. I don't know how many of these I'm going to want to do, but they are fun. All right, so One Ring, Mana Crypt, Lost the Flip, One Ring. Okay. Um... Let's go, I'm gonna have a lot of colorless mana floating, so let's actually start by going Mana Vault. I'm, I'm losing a, a Displacer Kitten trigger, but I think I'm okay with that. Into Displacer Kitten, let's draw with the one ring. Uh, oh, that was actually really bad how I did that, but didn't get punished. They could have had Orcish Bowmasters up, so I really should not have used it in that manner. Sack this for blue. Tap this, Urza, and then Urza, every time, <clears throat> excuse me, every time I play a spell, I can blink Urza now if I want to get uh, additional tokens, and then I guess I'll just time walk at some point here. I mean, there's a lot of ways to to get there. Uh, sure, I'll play the Underground C, Chrome Mox, blink Urza. I think my opponent is going to be done for here. Um, let's imprint Preordain. And then the go tap this. Tap, oh, I guess I didn't really need to imprint anything given that I have a, <laughs> an Urza in play, but whatever. Displacer Kitten on the Mana Vault. And this is clearly going to be an easy dub. Displacer Kitten on the Urza. Tap the Mana Vault. Urza, Urza, Urza. And then Paradoxical Outcome. Targeting. Boom, boom, 
boom, boom, a bunch of my permanents. And now I'm actually going to go ahead and blink the one ring just in case. I have so much mana now. Okay, and then there's Demonic Tutor. So that's a pretty easy way to, to win the game, I guess. Here, let's make sure I have all the mana I need, though. I guess at this point I do. I have 18 cards left. All right, I'm just going to draw to make sure I don't run out of gas somehow. Mana Vault. And then Displacer Kitten on Mana Vault here. Or Mana Crypt, even. And then tap for a black. Demonic Tutor. I guess I'll flicker the Urza. And then I can just cast Time Walk. And then that'll be... And that would be enough. Time Walk. Tapping these two tokens. Displacer Kitten Urza. And I could... I mean, I guess I could Brain Freeze them to, while I'm at it, right? Why not, right? Tap the One Ring for mana. Brain Freeze you for a million. <clears throat> and maybe they have a... Uh, an Eldrazi. It doesn't actually matter. I mean, I guess if there was a Elvish Spirit Guide or Manamorphose, they could, like, re-brain freeze me, but it actually wouldn't matter as long as they didn't draw a card either because of Echo Vans. Yeah, they... Oh, they have Bowmasters. Red, black, removal, and discard. I think just the broken blue stuff is better if you can get it, but... All right, that's our first match. Let's see if we can continue the speed run. All right, time for round two. Ooh, I'm on the play even. This hand, see, this is the kind of hand I think you should mulligan. This hand is way too slow. This hand, on the other hand, looks a lot better. So I will keep this. I kind of think I put PO back. Yeah, I'm going to be j doing some jacing here. My plan is turn one converter, turn two jace, which is a little bit slower than I, I had hoped, of course. I guess I'll play the LED just in case they play a draw seven. And then turn three... Time walk. I mean, I'd rather have Jason play before casting time walk. It just does a lot more. But we'll see. It depends on what my opponent's got. It looks like we're not getting killed on turn one. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play the Jace. It's fine. Look, if they have a busted hand and they do a bunch of stuff this turn, so be it. Mm -hmm. They do. <laughs> that is this format. Okay, well, that's, that's not so bad. Not that remanding that would have even accomplished anything. Narset. Ooh, don't like that one. Okay. Need to find uh, something that can get Narset here. Oh, man, and they have the... They have Thoughtseize, but they're not using it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, oh, that would have been so good a turn earlier. Let's just go ahead and pass the turn here. Don't really have a play to make. Oh, they didn't thought seize me because they didn't want currency converter. Mm. That makes sense to <coughs> to make a two two to attack Narset. Good, good play. Ancestral recall. Yeah, they've they've got some good ones. Sure, I can't really stop that. Let's see if they if they run out the thought seize here. They do. Um, yeah. They can take my time walk, which I don't love, but is what it is. I will exile it. Oh, what is going on here? What do you do it in response? I guess I'll find out. Okay, I will exile it. Is this like a time twister? Oh, the one ring? Okay, I will remand that, I guess. And I could tap the Jace, but that wouldn't really do much, so... Let's put Time Walk back in the graveyard and make a 2-2. And then I can kill Narset now. Just a pretty big game. Whoa, Mana Crypt is a great draw. All right, so let's go ahead and kill Narset. And I kind of feel like they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so I could Time Walk this turn, but it would cost me everything. I would have to sack the LED. And I, I wouldn't even be able to play my cards. So I don't really like that. I don't know what they they have in hand because these are all gone. They have the one ring. I could also play Displacer Kit and say go. I could also tap Jace to draw and see what I hit. Because I could go Mana Crypt, Sack LED, Flip Jace, Time Walk. 
actually yeah no there's no way to there's no way around it i'm just trying to see if there's a if there's anything i can do otherwise i mean i could i guess i could cast subtlety but that doesn't help much because i could go mana crypt cast displacer kitten pass i'd be one card short of time walking because i can put led in the graveyard as well i can play mana crypt i can sack led for mana put them both in the graveyard or actually, no, no, no. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play Mana Crypt. I'm gonna cast Displacer Kitten. I'm gonna sack LED for blue, and then I get to convert currency as well. And then I get to flip Jace. Oh. I did it almost right. Almost right, but didn't quite get there. Yeah, that was foolish. Basically, I needed to tap the converter in that in that time to uh, cast time walk or to, to, to put an extra card in the back to put the subtlety back in the graveyard. Yeah, that was that was unfortunate. OK, well. If their play is the one ring, if they don't have another time walk or something, I could still win this game, but ugh, it's such a cool play. I'm just very annoyed that I didn't. Because then I would have gotten to, with the time walk, Displacer Kitten flickers the Jace too, potentially. All right, well, let's see if we can do a little better here. All right, draw. Odawara doesn't do much for me. So let's draw with Currency Converter. Discard Odawara. This time I will not exile it from the graveyard. Draw with Jace. Hmm. Bowmasters. Okay. Uh, targeting the Displacer Kitten. Okay. Interesting. Draw. Discard Brain Freeze, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> And okay, the kitten's gone. I will exile here. Jace on time walk. I actually think I'm in a bit of trouble here. Bowmasters is pretty good. That is one thing that this deck is missing. Oh, they have spell pierce. All right, that, that that's probably good enough here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just try not to mess that up. I. I don't know that I would have won or anything, but it would have been a cool play. So I think I think the, these next couple of games, hopefully we don't have to mulligan and we can have just a fast hand. But besides Teferi Time Raveler, I don't really have it. Or Subtlety, I don't really have a great way of getting rid of a, a Bowmasters or at least answering a Bowmasters. All right. I would like to play first. Mm-hmm. I'll keep this hand. This hand looks great. If they don't have Force of Will, then this hand is awesome because I'm going to go... Mana Crypt, LED, Hallowed Fountain, Crack LED, and Cast Echo of Eons. The question, the main question is, do I want blue floating? Do I want to have the Mana Crypt be tapped and have blue floating? I probably do. Mana Crypt, LED, Hallowed Fountain, Sack LED for blue, tap this Echo using those floating mana. I guess I'll just spell seeker here, and I think here I'm gonna get ancestral recall. Seems like the pick. <coughs> and past the turn, they have a new fresh seven, but they didn't get to mulligan it, so it could be bad. <laughs> and sunken ruins. Okay. Into soul ring. Into mox ruby. Okay. Into mox jet. Hmm. Weird tapping of sunken ruins in that case. Mm -hmm. I'm on the flip. Island. LED. I'm going to preordain. And if they want a bowmasters, I can then ancestral in response. DT and ponder. I can put ponder on the bottom. I'll put DT on top. No, I just passed the turn. I don't really think attacking does much for me. Okay, they don't appear to have a Bowmasters, but you never know. If 
they have it now, so be it. I'm going to, I can live with that. Yeah. That's fine. On my turn, I'm going to, well, we'll see what I draw first, I guess. Urza and Jace. Okay. <laughs> So, I've already used my Echo of Eons. I suppose the Mana Crypt damage does add up here. Oh, Time Walk is nice. All right, land, Mox, Urza. Let's see if this resolves. Okay, Brainstorm's fine. That's not Mana Drain. And then after Urza, I'll cast a nice time walk. Oh, they do have Force of Will pitching Jace. Okay. And I guess I'll just time walk first. And then next turn I can do a, I can DT and do something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I have a Jace Wielder of Mysteries, so that's a good way to win the game. Okay, I lost the flip. Sahili, that doesn't help too much without an Urza. Mm -hmm. Could go for a win here. Hmm. Because I could, what I could do is I could demonic tutor for mana vault, cast mana vault, <coughs> cast a paradoxical outcome, draw a bunch of cards. I would take some more damage off the orc, but I'm assuming I'll just win this turn. That seems pretty reasonable to me. And. I think that's better than, I mean, I think that's better than Lotus. Yeah, I could also get Displacer Kitten, but no, we're, we're pretty far away from Displacer Kitten being good enough. And then PO these four. Take some damage off the Bowmasters and I've got an eight here. Oh, the one ring could also mean I could just pass for another turn if I needed to. And then draw cards while the orcs, where I'm while I'm protected. There's so time walks in my graveyard. I have 17 cards left. Mm -hmm. I can play a lot of things. I guess I'm probably going to want to play the One Ring, and then I can kind of decide how much further I want to go. Uh, and then this also lets me draw some cards this turn without taking damage. Okay, one ring resolves. Ding. We're protected. Draw. Okay, probe. And I haven't played a land yet either. So I could play Sahili. I could play Teferi. That doesn't do a ton for me. I could play Jace. I'm an eight. And I have to remember what I'm taking like up to five damage from my artifacts here. Hmm. Let's actually, it's funny, but I actually think I cast Gitaxian Probe here using a blue. See what their last card is. Mystic Confluence. Okay, that's a good one to know about. And I do an Urza Saga. Eh, that one I don't I don't have time for. Jace Friends Prodigy. And I think I'd rather discard than, than play one of my zeros. I'd rather keep those for... Various spell triggers. Okay. Let's discard there's a saga. That's fine. Their hand is Mystic Confluence, nothing else. I'm protected this turn. So they can't attack me for anything. Next turn. I should be able to get to zero cards in deck for Jace, but we'll see. They could use Mystic Confluence to bounce the Jace now if they're worried about me time walking. Looks like they're going to. Bounce Jace, draw two, and then I take my turn with four up to five blue mana floating. Hopefully they don't draw a counter spell here. Okay. I have to win now this turn, pretty much. Given that uh, the one ring and mana crypt and all that <laughs> are catching up to me. All right, so mana crypt's going to go off. I lost the flip. Go to four. Go to three. Okay, Displacer Kitten is a, would, would be a good one to find. Let's go... 
how do I do this? I guess I should probably start with Teferi. So I'm going to go Mox Pearl. I'm going to cast Teferi Time Reveler. Hope they don't have Spell Pierce here. Okay, they didn't. And then bounce the Bowmasters. And then draw two off the one ring. And there's the kitten. Okay. Oh, so that should be enough to win, right? I can go kitten. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Flicker to Fairy. LED comes into play. Teferi, bounce the Mana Crypt, draw a card, and then, whew, okay. Beat a Bowmasters. Bowmasters is tough, though, and they have Force of Will also. Ooh. Does it make me want Embry more than Sahili? Sahili is also pretty good. I think, we're, I think we're good. We're on the draw now. And... What about this hand? I don't love it, but against a deck with counter magic, I think it might be okay, because this hand has turn two Jace. I can probe is actually pretty nice at seeing what they're doing. Let's go probe, and if they want to spell pierce me, they can. Their hand is brainstorm dig. Oh, and I do an ancestral, I do like that. Uh, that makes me want to go Vista for Island. Go upkeep ancestral, I think. Okay, they didn't brainstorm. Nice. Let's go upkeep island ancestral recall. And if they want to force to try to find something, they can. Ooh, not playing moxes on turn one in the in supreme draft. I don't know about that. Everyone just cast so many draw sevens. I'd always be worried about that. All right, they're firing off their brainstorm now. These are the relevant cards. I don't know how many lands they have left. Probably play Flooded Strand. All right. And I'm hoping not to get bow mastered here, but always a possibility. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. All right, let's draw. Tarn. Mox. Currency Converter. The reason I'm tapping it this way is because of Spell Pierce. Sack this for blue. I'll get Underground Sea, sure. And I'll play Jace. And I'll pass the turn. And so we're not getting... Uh, actually, no, I'll keep the LED because I have a bunch of, like, Displacer Kitten type stuff. Yeah, here's the Bowmasters. I know, I know. <coughs> Bowmasters is tough. And... So I kind of need... If I, if I can find a mana source, I can time walk next turn. I can go spell seek or time walk. So, yeah, they, they've drawn. Dig through time seems like a really not good card in this format, to be honest. Um, oh, Chrome Mox. That kind of does it. Though, I wouldn't like to mill any of these. What if I Jace first? That doesn't sound too bad. I also, oh, I guess I could get a mana off the currency converter with Jace anyway. So that's also kind of nice. Uh, let's put... Now I have Pearl already? Yeah, I can put Hallowed Fountain under there then. They're going to ping the Jace? No, they're pinging me. Interesting. All right. Yes. And Delta. Crack this. I don't get an island. Spellseeker. And do I want to play Chrome Mox? I guess I probably don't. Hmm. I'll get time walk. I guess I'll just use the converter. I think that's probably better. Because maybe I'll want to use that ponder later. Time walk. Do they have the force? They do not. And then I'll plus one the orc army. Okay. So what I'm trying to set up is just brain freeze myself and then Jace ultimate. And I think I'll be able to do that over the next couple turns with these time walks. Oh, Sahili as well. Um, let's see. Sahili. Let's go Sahili. And what do I want to do here? I kind of want to 
so I could just time walk right now without even doing anything else because I can Sahili turn currency converter into a mox and then Jace time walk. Is that a good place to start and then leave everything else in my hand? Yeah, that's probably a decent place to start. It leaves us basically what we got done was we got a Sahili in play. All right, currency converter turns into a mox pearl. Jace cast time walk. And I'll cast the last time walk of the match. Well, at least on my side. And I get a token. Oh, they did have the force. Okay. That's odd, but sure. I don't really care about my planeswalkers too much, so I guess I'll just pass the turn. Yeah, all right. Huh. They didn't force the first time walk. I think that would have been better. What did they pitch? Probably the dig through time because it's not good. Yeah. Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine, but I don't think it matters that much because at this point, uh, thanks to the Bowmasters, I don't think my Jace is like. I guess I was going to be able to protect the Jace somewhat. Okay, but now that they have their mana untapped, I do have to worry about some other things. Is this a Grief? No, this looks like a Jace the Mind Sculptor or something. They're just failing to, <laughs> to tap their mana very well. Oh, Narset. Uh, sure. Okay. Narset miss, and then they're going to pass. And I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Oh. Urza is probably enough to do this, to, to win here, I would imagine. Let's see, because I have 18 spells. They can soul guide. Well, let's go Urza first, see if this works. Uh, LED, get a Sahili token. There's a Narset here, so I do have to worry about that. So I can't draw cards, but I need to be able to, so right now I've played two spells, so I can brain freeze myself down to one card, but then I can't draw on this turn because of say, because of Narset. Huh, okay. That's tricky. So given that that's the case, what can I do? Is there any way around that? Uh, uh, uh. Can I, I can, oh, I can convert her at instant speed on their turn. Okay, that's my plan. Let's go Chromox. Well, it's actually tricky. Do I want to imprint the Ponder or not? Because I have 19 cards in deck. I need more, I need more mana. <clears throat> I'm going to have to play the Chromox. I guess I don't need to, no, I don't need to imprint because of Urza, of course. All right, so Chromox, make us a Healy token. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, and then let's, I could cast Ponder. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna draw. I will get to rearrange my deck. <laughs> okay. Sure, it's not shuffle. And then tap the LED. You can always tap LED because it doesn't uh, tap mana. It doesn't even tap to sack anyway. Okay, Jace, make a token. <laughs> and then tap the these two tokens. Brain freeze myself for 18. Make another token. And same targets. Okay. And then I guess I guess if I want to Urza I oh know I don't want to Urza I don't want to Urza I want to use Jace okay <clears throat> and then I have Echo of Eons in my graveyard that doesn't help much but uh, I get another token and then I go Jace plus on myself mill my last card I don't draw a card but <clears throat> I get to plus one on the orc, whatever. I get to pass now, and I have instant speed, draw a card with currency converter to win the game. 
Also, they have to kill my Jace if they want to, like, as things currently stand, I win the game just if I draw a card for any reason. So they have to get rid of the Jace. All right, they're drawing a card. <clears throat> That's fine. The Narset did delay me, but I think I just wait here. I don't really see a reason to, to do anything. In response to the One Ring, I'll probably draw a card. Actually, I mean, it doesn't matter, honestly. Draw a card with Currency Converter in response. And what are they going to do? They've got to remove Jace from play in response to this or somehow put cards into my deck. They had neither. That was sick. Yeah, this format has some wild stuff going on. And we're on to the finals. All right, we're on the draw here. Um, hmm. Is this hand keepable on the draw? It's a funny question to ask. Uh... No blue mana is obviously the issue here. But it has a lot of action. I think I can keep this. I don't know. Maybe this is not good enough. But this does seem like turn one Saga, turn two I can activate Saga, and I can get an Ancestral on three. Also, this hand's pretty good against Disruption. If, you know, if mulliganing and then getting Thought Seized or having your opponent have Force of Will is, is pretty tough. Or I could just draw blue right away. Uh, let's go... Should I even be playing Urza Saga? That's actually a kind of an interesting question, given how this looks. Yeah, I actually think I should... Oh, I don't know why I went. A little, little too fast, too furious. Okay, let's pass the turn here. And then this way, turn two, I can Saga plus Ancestral if I want. It does give them the opportunity to maybe land a whole Breacher or something, but I think that's okay. And I think that the next time I draft one of these, I'm going to try to, if if Dismember or maybe even Lightning Bolt show up in a pack that doesn't have power in it, maybe grab one of those to, to kill opposing whole Breachers and Bowmasters. Seems like a, potentially a, a necessary thing. All right, they're going to open with Ancestral. We have kind of similar hands here. Well, everyone always does because everyone just every every mox or ancestral or mana vault that's in the packs gets taken. But stomping grounds, oh, that's a kind of a sign of weakness, if I do say so myself. I kind of want to just ancestral now while they're tapped out and they can't hole breacher or bowmaster me, and they probably can't counter it. And then if I draw any a mox, I can still activate saga. Sounds like a fine deal. Yeah, if I have to burn mana vault to untap. I think, I guess that's acceptable, but not great. All right, let's Ancestral. Let's see if we get Force of Will. We did not. Oh, the One Ring. Yeah, that's actually going to win the game faster than Urza Saga tokens, I suspect. I kind of think that Urza Saga... Uh, it, get, it does get Lotus, which is pretty nice. Getting Lotus or Soul Ring or, what, or Mana Crypt or whatever is a pretty nice upside. <coughs> Though... I don't know. I haven't felt like I had the time to sit there and and you and make tokens. Okay. And I'll wait on the one ring. It might get whole breachered, but I think you're more likely to have them cast a draw seven. In which case, I will be glad I didn't use the one ring. So that one seems okay at least. Let's see what they they have. Stomping grounds is a little is a little curious. So the red cards you would want to play are like Fable, Wheel of Fortune. The green cards, mostly just Fast Bonds, maybe Regrowth. I found it hard to be more, like too many colors, given how many non-actual lands you're playing. Hmm, that's actually not too big of a problem. I'm going to steal the One Ring. I'm going to draw a card, and then I'm going to Teferi the One Ring back to me. Well, I don't mind that. All right, take my turn. Take the damage from Mana Vault, draw. Just tap Saga for mana. And, oh, oops. <laughs> I tapped it for mana at the wrong time. I got got by the, the various triggers. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's get Mana Crypt. And I guess to save life, no, I should, hmm, hold on, what am I doing? Four, seven, eight. I could go to Fairy. Spellseeker Time Walk, it kind of feels like it's worth it. 
So let's go Lotus. Actually, I guess I don't have the One Ring in play quite yet. Let's just get the Hallowed Fountain. I think that I think I just want as many blue sources as I can. Fairy Time Reveler. Revel, revel. Oh, they do have the Force. Okay, well, that I don't love because now I'm going to go Spell Seeker. Time Walk actually <laughs> lets me kill the Dak Faden, which is nice. Time Walk. And then, but then I'm down to just chart a course. Not having the Teferi out or the One Ring in hand is, is brutal. What did they pitch, by the way? A miscalculation. Okay. Oh, Echo of Eons. Nice. So actually, I want to cast chart a course first. So I can discard Echo. Tech deck Faden. And I don't have the mana to place a Healy first. Well, actually, no. No, because I can place a Healy and then I can turn something into a, a mana source, but it doesn't actually do that. So I'm going to go Mox imprint Sahili and then cast Echo Vions here and see if we can get another time walk. No, but this is something. Okay. Lotus out Displacer Kitten. Displacer Kitten. Mox. Oh, we're not quite at Urza. Let's see, I can go Lotus, Displacer Kitten. But then I can't quite have one blue floating, play the Mox, untap. Manifold. Oh, I can flicker the Chrome Mox at some point. Hold on. I don't have a way to get a sync to turn to get extra blue, do I? Oh, but I have a better play. Okay, yeah, Lotus. I mean, if they... If they've redrawn um, Force of Will, then that's unfortunate. But look at this. Pearl, Flicker Spell Seeker. Get Time Walk again. <laughs> Pearl Resolves. And then Time Walk. And then at that point, I'll Flicker. I actually Flicker the Spell Seeker again. Get Ancestral. Or I can get Demonic Tutor, actually. Uh, yeah, DT is going to be even better. All right, take my time walk turn, and then it's trivial to win from here. I'll take some damage off my various artifacts. All right, that was a pretty good one. We uh, <laughs> echoed into into infinite. Displacer Kitten has been really good at, <clears throat> at finding ways to win the game here. I'll tell you that much. Urza. Tap this. DT. Displacer Kitten, uh, Mana Vault, I guess. Get Teferi Time Raveler. Cast Teferi Time Raveler. And then Displacer Kitten, Flicker my Urza. And then Teferi gets to bounce my Mana Crypt. Then I play Mana Crypt and I flicker the Teferi. And I, that is, that is victory. I mean, my opponent can wait to see what I'm doing here. What I think I am going to do though, is I'm going to brain freeze them. And so they're not going to see too much more, but I'm going to get to brain freeze them. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what they say about that. Six or not quite there. We're getting close to there. We're getting close to there. I have 15 cards left. All right, let's bounce the jet this time. Jet on Teferi, seven cards, bounce the Pearl, play Pearl, Flicker, Teferi, and eight, and I guess just one more Mana Vault, Mana Vault, Flicker, Teferi, just so I can make sure I always have that loaded up, but obviously there's a million ways to go about it from here, and then cast Brain Freeze on you, and we'll see how much you want to show me from your deck. <laughs> uh, Let's flicker the Urza. All right, I don't think they're showing me anything. All right, so we know about Force of Will and Ancestral and whatnot, but not too bad. All right, we are on the draw. Oh, 
Well, I like this hand. I don't know what it does yet, but it's going to be good. All right, I uh, will keep opponent is mulliganing here. And yeah, I mean, maybe the saga is good here. Alternately, I can go Swamp, Mox, Imprint, Preordain, Cast, Demonic Tutor. I'm not sure what I would DT for, though. This deck doesn't actually have Wheel or Time Twister, like a three mana one. So I guess I'll see what I draw on my turn. But there's a chance I want to lead on Saga. There's a chance I want to lead on Preordain, I guess. All right, they're cracking a Delta. What you got? Probably a duel of some kind, if I had to guess. Underground Sea into Mox into Talisman. Ooh, Talismans are something I try to avoid playing in this format, I think. Oh, Currency Converter. Okay. That makes me a lot more inclined to play Saga because I even get to use my mana on turn one. I'm going to play my Lotus. There's way more discard and draw sevens than there is <clears throat> uh, artifact removal. Not to say that it couldn't happen. Obviously, they have Dak Faden, but in their deck, but still. Oh, then that speaking of the devil here. This looks like a deck. Oh, it's a wheel of fortune. All right, that's actually not terrible. I mean, it's a good play on their part, but my currency gets to convert. Oh, okay. It's not a great wheel here. They discarded mana drain and mountain. All right. They've already played their land. Decent chance to have too much more to do here. Well, Soul Ring's good too. Oh. Into Mana Vault too. Look at you. Look at you go. And if that's it, then I guess I'll start converting. I'm going to put land in the, into the graveyard. I think I just want treasures. I don't think I want two twos right here. Subtlety. Okay, that's decent. I could play Urza this turn. Seems kind of nice. Um, I'd have to sack the Lotus, but Urza would let me cast most of my stuff. All right, they didn't have a counter. So let's just play Urza and pass. And now I can make a token. And I could also pitch cast Subtlety if I need to. And I'm about to have some pretty big constructs. Next turn, I mean, obviously this is Supreme Draft. They can have something busted, but... End of turn, I'm going to make an Urza Saga token tapping the construct and the treasure via Urza, and then I'm going to use Converter to put a treasure into the graveyard. And all of a sudden, we're going to have th three Urza Saga tokens, effectively. Mox Ruby, huh? Fiery Islet, sure. Double Black. Oh, Shieldred. Um, let's Subtlety Shieldred. Seems like a pretty good use of my my card here in no mana. <laughs> Shieldred. Did they put it on top? Yeah, they did. They can't cast it again this turn with Fiery Islet, luckily. All right, so let's go make a Saga token. Tap this. And I guess since I only have one land left to make, I should put a... I should just make a 2-2 two -two this turn. I think I just... This looks like enough damage to just win here. I mean, we'll see. But I'm fairly sure I have enough. Well, maybe not. Maybe not quite enough. And I think of all these, I think Man Mana Crypt might be the most enticing. Oh, no, this is actually almost exactly enough. They have to chump with their uh, token, or their token would be a 6-6. Six -six. Might be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Let's just attack with everything then. And force the chump block. Um, if I want... I mean, I, oh, I guess they could block Urza, actually. And then they go to 1. And yeah, that seems fine to me. Put a... Because now they go to one here, and I'll play my Hallowed Fountain and pass. All right. They can't use Fiery Islet. 
they have Shieldred, but they need Shieldred plus a draw seven to do something. And then this, I've got three lethal attackers against them here. Okay, they just saw good and didn't make a token or tap it for mana. They can shield it up to three life. Well, they can play shield it. Oh, they they can't even cast. Oh, yeah, they can't off the jet. I was going to say they can't cast shield it off talisman. But yeah, they can cast shield it here. And then they can sack the fiery islet to gain two life, I guess. Or they can cast shield and then a draw seven. But they've already used wheel and they can't cast time twister right now. Which is actually pretty funny. So they're going to tap that. They're going to draw a card off Fiery Islet. They're going to gain two life. And then I guess if they go Island Time Twister, that's kind of the joke. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty tricky because I have a bunch of attackers. Wooded Foothills. Okay. <laughs> they can't have a Shock Land. They have to have a, a Dual Land for it to be good. Oh, Double Red. Is this Fiery Confluence? Huh. Wild, okay. I'm surprised about that, but I guess that will get them out of it. Nope, they didn't have it. And that was our uh, second Supreme Draft Trophy I, I played a, a little before this. And uh, take a look at the deck again. I mean, this was a pretty good deck. I had, what, one, two, three, four, six pieces of power, which is good, but not... I've seen higher. Uh, it had Displacer, and a lot of fours, but... I think they were all pretty instrumental at winning, and uh, the time walk was such a crucial part as well. Teferi is like the perfect kind of disruption. Only thing this was missing was Force of Will. Subtlety is like a kind of pale imitation. But yeah, this is fun. There's a really wacky and uh, really powerful. I don't know how many of these I'll want to do, but I would love to hear from you. Did you like this? Did you not like it? And, you know, intersperse this with cube drafts, and then, of course, uh, when Outlaws of Thunder Junction come out, I'll be doing some of that. Well, that'll do it for today. I appreciate you watching me try to break Supreme Draft, uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. As always, got a new draft up every day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel, and you won't miss a single draft.